back to my channel and welcome to what I eat in a day. I had plans for today's video, plans which are going to have to be somewhat adjusted because there should be a cooker in that gap there. There should be a cooker there. There is not. So a couple of weeks ago we had our cooker cleaned. That killed it. <laughs> so I paid 70 quid to have a cooker cleaned and that killed it. It was like, no, no, the dirt was holding me together. I was fine. So the cooker died and we ordered a new cooker and it should have been delivered yesterday. Time slot between 2.30 and 6.30. Did it come? I present exhibit A, it did not come. I've rung him this morning. Apparently there was a driver emergency. That's fine. I accept the words driver emergency. I said, did the driver's mate also have an emergency? She said, how do you mean? I said, well, there's two people on board that lorry. Surely one of them should have been updating customers. Oh yeah, they should have been really. Yes, they should, but they didn't. Anyway, I digress. The earliest they can now deliver it is Monday. Why? Presumably it's still on a lorry somewhere. Why can't it just come today? Anyway, the earliest I can now have a cooker is Monday. So I've now got, well, we already went because we disconnected ours Wednesday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and probably most of Monday with no cooker. This has affected my plans somewhat. However, it has not affected my plans for breakfast because breakfast is going to be Protein World Slender Porridge. You may have seen that I unboxed a Protein World delivery last week. By the time you see it, it'd be last week. For me, it was yesterday. And in it was slender porridge, which I have never tried before. There's also a mug cake mix, watch out for that later in the video. But I've never tried their slender porridge, so that's what I'm going to have for breakfast today. So I usually use semi-skimmed milk, but the recommendation on the back of the slender porridge was to use almond milk. And so I thought, okay, we'll give almond milk a go. I'm adding 150 millilitres almond milk to my bowl. He's looking back at me. I don't know and my slender porridge is the double choc variety. It's really rich and creamy. The recommendation on the packet here is for you to use four scoops for 150 ml of almond milk. Now, it also said in the calorific table that 50 grams was X calories. And I thought, does that mean that 50 grams is four scoops? So I thought what I would do is put my bowl on the scales and measure out 50 grams worth. That turned out to be just under four scoops, but then I wasn't leveling my scoop. As you can see, my scoop is slightly heaped. So perhaps 50 grams is for level scoops. Anyway, I used 50 grams of the porridge mix. Mixed that well to combine with my milk and then popped it into the microwave and I gave it one minute for starters. After one minute I took it out to stir it and it was really really liquid at this point. I started to wonder had I put in too much liquid but trust the process, popped it back in, gave it another minute. By now as you could see it had started to thicken up so I felt a bit better about it. I popped it back into the microwave for one more minute. This is slightly more than it's recommended on the packet but then I guess maybe I've got a less powerful microwave. Whilst it was having its last little blast I took the opportunity to chop myself up some strawberries so I've got 100 grams of chopped and sliced strawberries here and now as you can see my porridge has thickened up beautifully so pop my strawberries on top and breakfast is ready and I know people are going to ask about my porridge bowl holder I bought it in a charity shop but my friend across the road does make them if anybody wants one. Oh dear the lighting's a bit shocking up here isn't it <laughs> let's give this a try Oh, hot. That's really nice, very chocolatey. Let's try it without some strawberry. Mmm. I really like that. And when I've got a cooker, I've got some other plans for that porridge stuff as well. And when I've got a cooker. My code, PWCARLA, gets you 40% off across the board at the Protein World website. That'll be in the description box below. Make sure you check that out. And I will see you in a bit with whatever I eat next today. Guess who decided they'd film what I eat in a day and then went down to eat lunch and forgot their phone? Oh, at least I've burnt off a few more calories fetching it. Okay, I was going to have for lunch, I've got a ham and egg salad, which I am still going to have. It's in the fridge, hang on. I am still going to have my salad. Here it is. Balanced, as the balanced baby potato and free range egg salad, 28th of October, which is today, so needs using. But then I thought, it's not a lot for a lunch. I've got to go to work in a bit, and it's uh, only 159 calories. That's lovely and low, but it's not a great deal of bulk for lunch, is it? 
Then I remembered that I bought these in Costco, which is a really nice tray of sweet potatoes. So I have a sweet potato. Can you hear him hissing? <laughs> sweet potato hissing away in there. Sounded like a hissing cobra. I've turned him over now, perhaps he'll shut up. I'm gonna have a baked sweet potato with my ham and egg salad. And then something nice for afters as well, as well. Again, with all the best laid plans of mice and men, I was going to have my mud cake after dinner tonight. Now I've realised I'm working, so I'll be taking dinner to work with me. That'll be some kind of microwave meal. And although this is a microwave mug cake, I'm going to have it for my lunch instead of waiting and having it for my tea. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to have my squirty cream and I don't want to take the squirty cream to work. And all this, all this bump basically means this I'm going to have after my lunch. So this again uses the almond milk as recommended on the packet. I have definitely made these mug cakes with water before quite happily, but for the purpose of this video, I'm doing what I'm told. So it says, this is the white chocolate and raspberry flavor mug cake. It says I need four yellow scoops of the mug cake mix and three yellow scoops of almond milk. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Uno. Due. Tre. Not sure why I've got Italian or what this bit of hair is doing. Looks like that at the moment. Mix to combine. It's really pink. <laughs> really, really quite a bright pink. And then into the microwave for 60 seconds. What is that hair doing? Oh, hot. When will I learn? That's lovely. That's really nice. I'm going to have that with a little bit of aerosol cream. I'll put the calories for my lunch on the screen so you can see them. And I will see you next time I eat something. Right, I am having, sorry about the dinner. I'll turn the kettle off so you'll be able to hear me. I'm going to have a mug shot after I, get, after I pick it up off the floor. I'm going to have a roast chicken mug shot. Yeah, it's about halfway through my shift at work. And um, I'm starting to feel snacky. This is 220 calories, so that's what I'm going to have for a snack. And I'm probably going to have a satsuma as well, because I know how to rock a roll. A little while later the boredom overtook me and I felt snacky again so I had a banana. My evening meal still at work. I had this Asda lamb and col cannon mash ready meal. It was 338 calories and I've had a lamb ready meal from M&S before which was really really nice. This was okay. It was okay. That's the best you could say about it. It wasn't brilliant. It was okay. It wasn't the worst thing I've had but it certainly wasn't as nice as the M&S one. And then for my dessert, I had an Aldi chocolate protein pudding. These are 159 calories. I really enjoy these and uh, they do keep you full for quite a long time afterwards. I am home from work. I am absolutely shattered. And I have managed to stay well within calories today. So far, well within. But I'm going to have a little snack of chocolate rice cakes before bed. These are M&S milk chocolate rice cakes. They're 123 calories a packet. This is the first... What I eat in a day that I've filmed in a long time now. And I really think it's helped me stay on track. Um, I didn't say this at the beginning of the video, but for anyone who's who doesn't know my channel, I am on a trying to follow a calorie deficit to lose weight. And I try to stay under 2000 calories a day. And today I am ending on this many calories. Really quite pleased about that. I've eaten some snacks through the day, as you've seen. 
I've had three meals. My meals have been fairly low in calories and of course that's helped because that's left extra calories for snacks and stuff. But yeah, really quite pleased with the way today's gone. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Thank you again to Protein World for sending me the products that I've shown in the video today. And don't forget to use my code PWCARLA to save you 40% off across the entire website at proteinworld.com. I will be back possibly with another one of these What I Eat In A Days quite soon. Take care. Bye for now.